everyone. I'm Gina Sorensen, dance teacher and choreographer. Today we all get to wear our choreographer hats, you included. A choreographer is a person who makes dances. Have you ever seen a dance and wondered, how did they make all of that up? When you watch a whole dance, it can look like a lot of movement, and the idea of making all that movement up might seem overwhelming. I'm here to give you a secret choreography tip. We like to create in small chunks. And that brings me to today's new term for your dance glossary. The term is dance phrase. A dance phrase is a brief sequence of related movements that have a sense of continuity and artistic or rhythmic completion. Think of it in writing terms. It's a sentence. We're not yet writing the whole book, just one sentence. So let's create a dance phrase together. We're trying to create a brief sequence of related movements. Let's build a series of gestures. Swipe one hand out like you're clearing items off a table and swipe the other hand out again. Cross both hands across your middle. Form fists with bent elbows. Then imagine an ocean wave is cresting over. And lastly, form a picture frame around your head. Let's repeat the phrase many times so we feel like we really know it. Swipe one arm out, swipe the other arm, swipe to cross your middle, form fists, an ocean wave crests, and a picture frame forms around your head. Let's do it twice more, a little bit faster. Swipe, swipe, cross, fists, wave, frame. And one more time. Swipe, swipe, cross, fists, wave, frame. Feel free to pause the video if you want to practice the phrase a few more times. Now this dance phrase is already rich and interesting and it can be performed as it is. But we can also apply choreographic devices to create variations of it. Choreographic devices are tools to manipulate dance movements, sequences, or phrases. Today, I'm going to share four different choreographic devices with you, and we're going to apply them to our phrase. The first device is repetition. Now, we can repeat the phrase as a whole. Swipe, swipe, cross, fists, wave, frame, swipe, swipe cross, fists, wave, frame. And our phrase now doubled in length. But we can also repeat smaller moments within it. Let's have an ocean wave crest three times. Swipe, swipe, cross, fists, wave, 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 frame. You can apply repetition anywhere in the phrase. A second device is accumulation. In accumulation, I will start with one gesture, and each time I repeat the phrase, I will add a gesture. Swipe. Swipe, swipe. We are accumulating gestures. Swipe, swipe, cross. Swipe, swipe, cross, fists. Swipe, swipe, cross, fists, wave. Swipe, swipe, cross, fists, wave. Frame. A third device is canon. If you're familiar with musical terms, this is very similar to a round when you're singing. In a canon, different groups will start the phrase at different times or staggered times. One group will start swipe, swipe, cross, and continue, and then another group starts swipe, swipe, Cross. And you can even divide into more groups. Third or fourth groups might have a later start time. A fourth choreographic device is inversion. In dance communities, we often refer this as retrograde. This means we are going to do the sequence in reverse order. It will start with frame, wave, fists, cross, swipe, swipe. I firmly believe that anyone can be a choreographer. Now that you've got a few tools in your dance making toolbox, give it a go. Happy dancing, friends!